Hackney, Hackney, Hackney. One of London's most treasured Olympic boroughs, where there hasn't been a riot since Monday. We recently added gangster to the Oxford English Dictionary and created the famous delicacy chicken and chips. So, who are the young people that make Hackney so great? In his spare time, Tyrone enjoys spending time with his friends, feasting on only the finest cuisine Hackney has to offer, and debating with friends about London's current affairs, such as the 2012 Olympics. The Olympics are a way of us getting out of this, the dark shadows and, and us marching. Yes, us marching as British people and showing us, yes, we can run and we can jump and we can throw javelins into stuff. We can, we can lift weights because yes, Britain, yes, Britain is great. Victor Hollard, better known as Vicky, likes to take a moment out of his busy schedule for a daily stroll around his beloved village. Whilst taking in the beautiful scenery around him, he likes to ponder on the future of London during 2012. You know, all this big society business about working for free, I don't want to work for free, and I'm not going to work for free. And I don't know anyone that would want to, that would want to work for free. I mean, uh, my mate Roger, yeah, he, he saw these trainers the other day and he was like, yeah, I want to get them trainers. So I was like, get them trainers then. There's no problem you, There's no problem why you can't get the trainers. He said, but I ain't got no money to get the trainers. So I was like, well, get some money to get the trainers. And then it was like, yeah, he was like, oh, they're these nice red and white trainers and they got that like, stars at the side and then they got that, like, the laces all funny, the high tops, and then they got a strap at the bottom and at the side and at the back. And then I was like, yeah, but well, what about the tongue? How's the tongue? And the tongue was like really, really long. And then he was like, yeah, they were a fat tongue. And then, you know, I was like, well, why don't you get the trainers? And he was like, I can't get the trainers. So I was like, get the trainers. And he was like, I can't get the trainers. I was like, why can't you get the trainers? And he was like, because I can't get the trainers. So I said, just get the trainers. And he was like, why can't I get the trainers? So I, can't, I ain't got no money. So obviously, if you're working for free, you're not going to get paid. So then you can't get the trainers. When I was a little boy, I had the dream that one day, that one day, that one day that would, I, could, I could help out. I could help out give water to 30 athletes. Yes, I had the dream that one day, that one day I could see People run really, really fast. And I can be, hey, I was there. And the, the other guy, the other day, my boy David and Roger, we was all chilling and talking to some girls. And it was like, they were looking. I was like, yeah, what's going on, honey? You all right? And then they were like, oh, what are you doing here? Why are you dressed like that? He's like, this is my swagger, innit? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. Can I say, this, this fried piece of poultry is exquisite. Three star Michelin. You should try some. Please, excuse me. Can you use your fork? Sorry, chum. From gallivanting through the town hall to sweeping our beautiful streets, our Hackney community stands united. Oh my days, the Olympics. It's getting on my nerves. I'm sick and tired hearing about the Olympics. I don't even understand why it's here. It should be where it started, in Greece. That's where it all began. So why is it moving to England? <laughs> yes, I, I, I do feel the, the, the games, the Olympic games are an exquisite way mm. of um, helping our financial situation in this global, this global recession. Goodbye, Hackney.